Hello and welcome uh, to this uh, free video where I'm going to show you off my uh, public tools that I use to create uh, PDF files. And later I will also produce a, a paying video where I uh, show you all my uh, private uh, tools to make all kinds of uh, special uh, PDF files. Now if you go to my uh, website uh, DDA Stevens and you go to my PDF tools you will find my make uh, PDF tools like you want to make embedded files and script and JavaScript uh, PDF files and then you can download my make PDF tools here I have already downloaded this I have it here in uh, my folder so let's uh, unzip this here Okay, so and I have uh, three programs that I want to show you, Hello World, Embedded and uh, JavaScript. This is uh, my module that I developed to uh, create PDF files. So uh, it contains uh, classes to create uh, PDF objects. So let's start with Hello World. here hello world and let's call this hello.pdf so this created this file hello pdf and as you can expect when you open it you get a pdf with uh, hello world now if we look at the pdf code so you have a header the first object which is the uh, the root object, the catalog uh, object, outline object, a pages object, that's object 3, object 4 represents the page itself, with the font here in object 6, and then in object 5, we have the text uh, that we want to display here, uh, hello world, second line, third line, and drawing a rectangle around it. And then we have the crossref table with an entry for each object and the trailer with an end of file. Now if we look at the program to uh, generate this, it's a rather simple program so we import my mpdf module and then here we create an object, so we instantiate the class cpdf with the pdf file name, so that's a hello pdf that we typed. And that is the start of our uh, creation of a pdf file. So we have this object and then we apply different methods. So this is the method to generate header, then a method to generate a template, and the template is uh, one for a typical pdf file where we have only one page. This is a comment. This, uh, I mean, this code is commented out, and this is the code that we saw for object five, where we have all those uh, text. And then here at the end, we create our trailer. So that means that the calculation of uh, the crossref table and everything is uh, done by my uh, CPDF class. You only have to provide it the root object, uh, the reference to the root object, the catalog object. So let's uh, delete this one here and work with just uh, a simple hello world line. So let me save this. Let's run this again. And now if you open hello, you have hello world. Now if you want to change this text, so let's look first here at hello pdf. Okay, so we have object 5 here, hello world. Now if you would want to change this text here directly um, in the PDF document, you could do this, but then this reference here to the start of the crossref day will no, will no longer be valid, although most uh, Adobe Reader uh, 
versions uh, don't have any problem with this. Now, what's better to do is that you change it from the program. So let me undo this. And let's change it in the program. So here you have the string. Uh, strings in the PDF language are surrounded by parentheses. So let's do hello world from DDA here. Let me save this. Run it. Like this. And then you can see here hello world from DDA. And if we reload this, you can see that this has been uh, changed and uh, correctly calculated. So uh, this is uh, simply hello world. Let's look uh, at the next example. And that is one uh, to create files with embedded JavaScript, so PDF documents with uh, embedded JavaScript. Let me close this. So make JavaScript script dot PDF. And if we don't provide any argument, by default, uh, a PDF document will be created with a JavaScript that displays uh, an alert uh, message box. So here you have that script. Now, I have to show you this with uh, Adobe Reader. So I'm going to do this in my virtual machine because I don't want uh, to install Adobe Reader on my main machine. So here you have this script. And when we open this, you can see the text, JavaScript example, but then also here the pop-up, hello from PDF JavaScript. So let's look at this, the PDF file. And here you can see again, we have our header, our object one, the catalog object, which this time also has an open action which is found in object 7. So let's go down to object 7. Okay. And object 7 is an action object of type JavaScript. And here between parentheses, you have the actual JavaScript that was included in this uh, PDF document. So that is the default from the program. It displays an app alert like this. You can work with options. You have an option where you provide the JavaScript on the command line, and you can have also an option where you provide the JavaScript as a file. So let me just do one here in JavaScript where I provide one from the command line, and let's do an uh, app alert one plus two like this and call this alert sum dot pdf okay so this file has been created have a look so this is uh, just like the other one and the difference here is in object 7 here where you see this is the string that I provided. And if I execute this from Adobe Reader, okay, now let's close this. Okay, alert sum. So one plus two equals three. So that is my program to create PDF files with JavaScript. And then the last one is a, a program to create PDF files with embedded files. So make PDF embedded. 
we are going to embed this zip file into the embedded.pdf file like this. Now if we open this embedded PDF file with uh, ultra edit here, okay, now you can see uh, it is um, actually hex, this is not pure ASCII, but let's switch to ASCII, so we have the header here, uh, comment that indicates that we are dealing with the binary uh, file actually, and then here the catalog object, which is the same as we saw in the other, except here for these name sections, where we have uh, embedded files. You can see here the name of the file we embedded with an object to reference, uh, with a reference to object 7. So let's go to object 7, like this here, and so this is a file spec uh, object referencing object 8 and object 8 here contains the embedded file in a stream which has been compressed this is the stream here okay and then we have the crossref table so if I open this embedded file you can actually see the text here and also the embedded file that can be saved extracted that is and if we look at the program to create this uh, uh, PDF file with embedded uh, files so I have a function to uh, read a binary file this one here and then I create the PDF file so I instantiate my class PDF uh, object I call the header method, I call the binary method, I have also some stego but uh, I'm not going to talk about this here, and here we have an open action if you want the uh, file to be generated automatically, but we are not going to deal with here, so then we have a method to create an indirect object where you give it the index of the indirect object, so object 1, the version, and then the dictionary of uh, this uh, indirect object, so the content. This is object 2, that is the outline, object 3, the pages, object 4, the page itself, and then object 5, the text, object 6, the font, object 7 the file spec and here object 8 this is the one that contains a stream and this is the method stream 2 uh, which we can use to uh, create a stream object so we give it an um, index that's object 8 version 0 and this here is uh, the content of the file that we want to embed we provide this uh, name uh, and value here, key value property to add in the dictionary and these are the filters that uh, we want to apply so by default we are going to uh, flat encode this file there uh, can be some autom automatic options if you decide uh, with options which we don't do that and then here we finalize with uh, the crossref and the trailer you can see the different options here from the program, but I'm not going to go into details here. Okay, so these are my uh, three programs, my three public programs. I also have, like uh, announced, a lot of uh, private tools uh, here in the secret folder. You can see all the different uh, private tools. First of all, MPDF, the module which is much larger because it not only contains here in this private version um, a class uh, PDF method but also uh, methods for uh, obfuscation and uh, fuzzing. These here are all uh, programs to create um, PDF files that uh, show you my launch uh, exploit that I developed um, a deflate bomb, a car, embedded file, 
hello world with further and with name obfuscation, different JavaScripts with an embedded PE file with shellcode, JPEG uh, file, so that's a PDF file with an image, metadata, uh, simple uh, metadata, and one with XML bomb, and then also uh, Flash. You can create PDF files containing Flash, and that is my uh, program here to create one. Now, these are all programs to create files uh, from scratch, but I also have an example how to use my uh, module to create, uh, to modify an existing uh, PDF file with an incremental update. And uh, so this is here a simple example, but all of these examples here can be, uh, source codes here can be transformed into uh, an incremental uh, update. So uh, I hope you found uh, my uh, creation PDF tools here uh, interesting, and uh, I hope that you are also uh, looking forward to uh, my video where uh, I show you all my uh, private tools. Thank you uh, for following this.